It's time for Tales of Terror, only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that all children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. You are in a land away from sunlight. You are in a land of darkness and fear. Somewhere between waking and sleeping are night terrors. Night Terrors, an anthology of horror and suspense. Tonight's episode, The Choice, written by David Alt. Where did you come from? Calm down. The deal goes through whether you are there or not. I know. You can't know that. Please, sit down. Who are you? You now have a choice to make. No. You can go to the police and admit your guilt. Or you can stay quiet and go mad. It's a beautiful day for a walk in the park. A day full of possibilities. The only problem with so many possibilities is that ultimately you have to make a choice. Beautiful day. Day to lose yourself in. May we sit down? What? Oh. Sorry, you uh, you made me jump. Sure, just... Are you sure? I, yeah. Uh... You look quite upset, young man. I'm sorry, you just... Never mind. Uh, We can sit over there. Come along. No, no. Please, have a seat. I'm sorry for being so rude. Bit of a, you know, a stressful day. Enjoying the weather? Oh, very much so. It's wonderful to have the opportunity to enjoy life in all its fullness. Yes, I know. The birds are singing... The breeze is light and warm rather than air-conditioned, and... Sorry. Why were you looking at me like that? I wasn't. Please, you must excuse him. It's his first trip into this area, and you know what they're like at that age. It's not just that. You look... Anyway, you were saying... Air-conditioning, eh? Is that for an office somewhere? Yes, I... Yes, uh, We're just going through a business deal, which seems to be doing okay, so I've just come outside for a breath of fresh air. You don't look well. Is there something wrong? No, really. I'm okay. Your grandson just reminds me of someone, that's all. He's not my grandfather. Just listen. Reminds you of someone you say. Someone you knew? No, someone I will... Please, I don't want to talk about it. That's all right. 
I didn't mean to pry. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Well, we ought to be getting on our way. Come along. No, please stay. I really think it would be best. Please stay. Stay and tell me more about you. What brought you here? I once sat on this bench many years ago and agonized over a very difficult choice. I, too, was doing a business deal. But other things happened that day. Actually, what I feared turned out to be fine, once I faced it. I stood up to my fear, and all was well. The youngster is here because, well, he's been taken out of class. Out of class? What for? I didn't do anything. Old Crumlo set me up. Who did you just say? Crabby Kremlo, the math teacher. He hates me. Who are you? How do you know about that? Why here? Why now? What's he talking about? Shh. Let it out. What you said? Let go. It was ten years ago. I'd been given detention by old Mr. Kremlo, my math teacher. I hadn't done anything. It was... It was Paul Redbury. (laughs) And one day I'd been set up by that kid once too often and I got suspended. That night I put firecrackers through his mail slot. I only wanted to scare them. I didn't know he didn't have a smoke alarm. And before the fire department got there, the house had burnt down completely, with no survivors. You didn't own up to it, though, did you? I didn't mean it. Kremlo didn't listen. He just kept blaming me. (laughs) Killed them all? They found them, just under the windows, trying to reach up, trying to get out. Let it go. (laughs) What happened after that? Not now. I was ill. Shock. They said the fire was accidental, loose wiring or something, but I... I killed them. stood up to Kremlo, it would have made all the difference. The principal would have listened. (sighs) And now what will you do? I have to go. Get back to this meeting and make sure everything is going to be okay. No, not yet. Why are you tormenting me? Don't be silly. Who are you? We're not here to torment you. What do you want? Please, sit down. No. In fact, I never heard your footsteps. Set. Where did you come from? Calm down. The deal goes through whether you are there or not. I know. You can't know that. Please, sit down. Who are you? You now have a choice to make. No. You can go to the police and admit your guilt. Or you can stay quiet and go mad. I don't want to choose. You must. But if I go to the police, they'll lock me up. I'll lose everything. What about the deal? The deal is not important. The choice is... I can't lose it all. I don't want to be taken away. You must do the right thing. Once you have done that, everything will turn out all right. How do you know? I know. How? Don't ask me that question. Tell me. No. What happens now is up to you. And you alone. But... (coughs) There's someone over there. Help! Help! What do we do? Go and help her. But I could get hurt. You must do the right thing. Go on. She's being raped. Why do I have to go? 
Because you're the only one who can save her. There's no one else here. Do the right thing. No. No. I'll... I'll get the police. It'll be too late by then. Yes, that's it. I'll get help. You must help her now. Choose. But I can't go over there. What's happened? The choice has been made for you. That's it. I'm off. <gasps> Who's there? We warned you. What do you mean? Hey, Get down. You. Hide. Who were you talking to? Don't hurt me. Tell me. You're blind? Don't play games with me. We can't do anything now. What do you mean? Why can't he see you? You're making me look stupid. No, please. Please, don't hurt me. Tell me who you were talking to. They're there. Don't try to confuse me. Shit. Oh my god. Is that really who I would become? It depends on the choices you make. In my timeline, I went to the police and confessed. I was let off for being underage and provoked. Obviously, I couldn't bring the version which made the wrong choice, because he died soon after. Suicide. But he didn't make a choice. True. This version of us dithered. The chance was gone. I went and surprised the rapist, and he fled without hurting anyone. He was arrested later. But... I brought you here because you now have a choice to make. You can change my past and his past. Stand up to the bully, and don't do what you planned tonight. But if I stand Haven't up... Haven't you seen enough of what happens when you don't stand up to evil? All it takes is for good men to do nothing, for evil to triumph. But if we hadn't been here, he might have gone and saved her. We'll never know. Come now. You must return to school and make your choice. circumstance for Rob to have been in. Imagine being visited by different forms of yourself from the past and the future. I imagine Rob was feeling quite odd, positively beside himself. <laughs> You have been listening to Night Terrors, an anthology of horror and suspense. Tonight's episode, The Choice, written by David Alt. Featured in the cast were Mike Lyons as Robert Morgan, Gary Cobham as the old man, Kim Giannopoulos as the boy, and Scott Wentworth as the rapist. This episode was directed and produced by Ellie Hirschman. Post-production by John Specht. Original music by Kevin McLeod. Series producer is Mark Brzee. The executive producer for Darker Projects is Eric Busby. This is Ben on Darker Projects Production. Hiya, kids. This is Stinky the Elf, coming to you from the North Pole. You know, Santa Claus's workshop, right? Well, I've been asked to convey a special message to you that my boss, Santa Claus, that's right, the jolly old fat guy in the red suit, wants to hear from all the little boys and girls out there. 
Here's an opportunity to tell him your Christmas list and any other special holiday message you got. And on Fridays, starting the day after Thanksgiving, my boss will read your message out loud on a new podcast called Santa's Inbox, exclusively on the Mutual Network. He'll mention your first name only, plus the town you're from, and then read your email out loud so everybody can hear it. Ain't that exciting? Yeah, Sandy told me that he used to read letters from kids on the radio back in the day, but I told him, I'm only 300 years old. I can't remember that far back. <laughs> okay, what else? Oh, yeah, this offer is open to anybody. Kids, grown-ups, the young at heart, anybody who wants to send a special message or a dedication to anybody else. So anyways, start sending Santa Claus your emails now to santas.xmas.inbox at gmail.com. That's S-A-N-T-A-S dot X-M-A-S dot I-N-B-O-X at gmail.com. Kids, please ask your folks to send your email for you.